Mr. and Mrs. America, all the ships that you know, you find us out there would like to know the truth about America. Welcome to another edition of Propaganda Buzz, today being 2008 80. Hi! <laughs> today we're going to talk about this child. This child is known in Tibet as the Panchen Lama. He's known throughout the world as a victim of being kidnapped by the communists in China. It's a little background. When the communists suppressed Tibet in the 1950s, and in 1959 the Dalai Lama left Tibet for fear of his life and went to India. Now the Dalai Lama in Tibetan Buddhism is the highest position. The second position is something called the Panchen Lama. Now if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, please forgive me, I'm not Tibetan, alright? So the, Panch the, the Panchen Lama stayed in Tibet while the Dalai Lama went to India. Well, the Panchen Lama suffered under communist oppression and he passed away. Now, I don't know if he suffered because of the communists or because of some ill-fated disease. But he passed away, so now it was time to replace the Panchen Lama. And how the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama is replaced is through what they say is a reincarnated person. So the Dalai Lama contacts the communists and says, look, I'm going to help you guys locate, identify who the uh, next Panchen Lama is going to be. And the communists replied and said, get lost, will you? We don't need your help. Forget about it. Instead, the communists assigned their own person to look for the Panchen Lama in Tibet. So this person goes wandering around Tibet and goes through the rituals and the traditions uh, and with the sites that he has to go to to locate a Panchen Lama, the reincarnated Panchen Lama. Well, he felt that he did locate the correct Panchen Lama due to some scars on the young man's body. So he notifies the communist and says, look, I found the next Panchen Lama. And the communist said, okay, good, we're going to make him the next Panchen Lama. But in the meantime, this guy who was sent by the communist to identify the next Panchen Lama, he also notified the Dalai Lama, in which the Dalai Lama then went through his rituals and his traditions to determine if this was the correct Panchen Lama. Well, the Dalai Lama did determine this was the correct Panchen the, re the reincarnated Panchen Lama and told him, you found the right guy. Well, the communists found out about this. The communists found out that this guy notified the Dalai Lama that he had found the Panchen Lama. So what did the communists do? The communists did what communists do all over the place. They squished the whole idea. Yeah! That's what communists do. So they take this eight-year-old child and kidnap him. They certainly did. Kidnapping is legal if you're a communist. Not only were they, did they kidnap this poor child, they kidnapped his parents too. They weren't happy in ruining the child's life. They had to ruin the parents' life also. So then they kidnapped the Panchen Lama, and who knows where this poor child is, probably in some dungeon. And I'm going to say he's in some dungeon, because if he was living in better conditions, why would the communists block him from the rest of the world? You're blocking this child from the rest of the world because you got him living in miserable conditions. That's it. Case closed. So what they did then, the communists, they appointed their own Panchen Lama, who was not the reincarnated Panchen Lama, according to Buddhist tradition. So the UN then sends an emissary to try to locate the Panchen Lama. They said to the communist government, we want to see this person to make sure he's being treated fairly. And the communists told, told the UN, get lost, will you? Get the Hades out of here. So the UN put the tail between their legs and went home. That's what the UN does, a bunch of cowards. So now we have this poor child in 1995 who was kidnapped and he's around 18 years old right now. My question to all you communists out there in China and all you communist agents on YouTube with your uh, black shoes and white socks and who refuse to discuss Confucius. My question to you is this. Why is your government so afraid of religion? That's right, they're afraid of religion. When a government is afraid of religion, then that government is insecure and that government has no legitimacy. You are serving an illegitimate master when you serve those communists. That's exactly what you're doing. That poor child. <laughs> All right, folks. See ya. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the country you happen to be living in. And to that poor child. God bless you. Who knows what you had to put up with since 1995 under the hands, under the oppression of those communist thugs.
See you, kids. If you have a Tibetan flag, wave it.